water in Israel, it's a big problem. There's not a lot of rain in Israel. The rain begins at the middle of March and at mid of um, uh, November. Today, it's not a problem because we are using these elimination factories that we're taking the water from uh, the Mediterranean Sea and that's what I'm drinking. But here, it's the ancient part of uh, Caesarea. I don't know if you can see the flag there, but the area of the flag is the synagogue that I visited in one of those movies that I'm prepared uh, today. And from there, you could see to now the aqueduct. Until then, if you wanted to enjoy water, uh, you had to um, build a water system or wells because uh, the fresh water is not so far away from here. It's easy, but if you want to have a big city, you need more than that. Then King Herod, at the, uh, the Roman time, knew how to build aqueducts. The water came from Mount Carmel, the area of Mount Carmel, and um, it was good. But then the city became bigger and bigger. At the Byzantine time, a few hundred years later, uh, we believed that there were more than 50,000 habitats. And in that case, you need more water. Then they almost glue to it another uh, aqueduct. See, that's the original one. That's the second one. And we know that the second one was built at the beginning by King Herod. Well, that's what I believe, although some people were, some scholars say no, no, no. Uh, the Romans did it. We know that later on the Romans maintain it. But again, if I made a mistake, then sorry. And look how beautiful it is. Later on, they build another one, and now we're going to show you it. Then those are two aqueducts that support uh, the city, um, the Roman bath, the swim pool in uh, King Herod Palace. drinking water, toilet, whatever, uh, they had a lot of water. This is the non-authorized uh, seashore. That's why, sadly, it's not as clean as it's supposed to be. But later on, there's another seashore that you can use. beautiful isn't it until we reach beautiful place let me tell you that at the description I will add some more information about the uh, aqueducts and you will be able to connect me via uh, Facebook and, uh, um, and Instagram or here uh, through YouTube It's difficult to walk on sandstone, on, on sand. It's beautiful. The first one that was built, you can use it today. The second one that was glued to it, uh, you have to maintain it more. They build it in a wrong way. And the common Mount Carmel is there. Beautiful, isn't it? When I was young, I used to climb on those small hills. Believe me, it's there. I mean, you can do that. 
but I want to show you the third aqueduct. The aqueduct, aqueducts uh, served the city from 1st century, from the time of King Herod, until the 13th century. And that's where the Muslim ruler Baibas destroy uh, the aqueducts and destroy Caesarea. He didn't want the crusader to use that place again forever. And then this is the third one. You can actually walk in it. No, it's not hot at all. Just waiting. Oh, a little bit of breeze, I need it. Just waiting for my air conditioned car. When I was young, I used to climb it. I took a few videos of uh, the city of, of Caesarea. It's quite long, I must say. The first one is more than um, an hour. The second one is almost an hour. And another two, which are shorter. And uh, I don't know if I will add it into one long video or leave it like that. Hmm. Well, let me use it if I climb from here. Let me see if I can climb from there. And if not, believe me, it's an aqueduct. If it's blocked too by the bush. All right. I think you're going to believe me. Here it is. Then that's the last one, and here there's another two. My dears, thank you very much. It was a lovely day, a long and hot day, but I did it. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe me, please. You are part of my family from right now. See you in my next video.